Hi guys, welcome to this hero guide video. This week we're going to be looking at how to dominate galactic assaults with Bosk. And I've got to say guys, he is one of my favourite heroes on the game. If you do enjoy the video, please leave me a like and also subscribe if you are enjoying the series so far. As we're at the halfway stage of these guides now, I am going to be taking a break from Battlefront videos for the next few weeks. I'm playing a lot of Fortnite and Ark just lately, and I want to make some videos on these games. Don't worry, I will eventually come back to Battlefront and complete these hero guides. I might do this when Season 2, or at least some more content, is eventually dropped, whenever that will be, because hopefully we will have some more heroes to play as then. Getting back to the subject of today's video, Bosk has three abilities. Firstly, his Dioxys Grenade, when activated, sees Bosk throw a grenade that sticks to the first surface it makes contact with. It then releases poisonous gas, which deals damage to enemies standing within the grenade's proximity. Secondly, Bosk's Predator Instincts gives Bosk Thermal Vision, allowing him to see enemies behind cover. Whilst the ability is active, Bosk uses what feels like a grenade launcher to consistently attack enemies. He can fire these grenades continuously for the duration of the ability. Lastly, Bosk's Proximity Mines sees Bosk throw three Proximity Mines directly in front of him, and this ability does what it says on the tin. The mines explode when an unsuspecting enemy walks in their radius. This radius can be seen by Bosk when the mines are thrown down. Bosk's primary weapon is the RAL BV-10, and this is a long-range rifle with a scope. It can be fired from the hip, or you can use the scope to charge the weapon before then releasing your shot. The more the weapon is charged, the more damage it will do. Despite not being a force user, Bosk can also jump relatively high, relative to other non-force users, and he also starts out with 600 health. Bosk has lots and lots of strengths, to be honest guys. I don't even know where to start. But I think his greatest strength is that every single one of his abilities is extremely useful. And more importantly, they are all pretty unique. I think Bosk probably has the most powerful ability set overall in the entire game. His Dioxys Grenade is absolutely devastating. It has a large damage radius, meaning it will deal lots of damage to enemies simultaneously. Using this consistently will give Bosk plenty of kills and eliminations. Also, the fact that it sticks to surfaces upon contact makes the ability really easy to use and easy to direct. I should also note that one of Bosk's available star cards allows Bosk to heal himself when he stands within the Dioxys gas, giving the ability extra usefulness. Bosk's Predator Instincts ability is equally as fantastic as Dioxys Grenade. By both being able to see all nearby enemies because of Bosk's heat vision, and also being able to repeatedly fire grenades from his rifle, you can absolutely destroy groups of enemies with this ability. You'll be surprised at just how quickly Bosk can fire his grenades, and also, these grenades do not damage Bosk himself, meaning you can literally fire them at your own feet. They can also travel quite far if your enemies are far away, and so this ability is consistently lethal at pretty much all times. Bosk's proximity mines are useful primarily because they are really difficult to detect, and so if you put them in the right place, something we will discuss more later on, you should be able to consistently kill enemies with this ability. They also do lots and lots of damage, more than enough to one hit kill standard troopers, and there is even a star card which grants Bosk the ability to place down more than three mines, again increasing the lethal nature of this ability. Overall then, each of Bosk's abilities are primarily offensive tools which will cause absolute chaos on the battlefront. Another strength of Bosk's is his unique ability to heal himself fully regardless of how much damage is taken from him. This makes his 600 health far more impressive than it first appears. This probably gives Bosk more survivability than any other hero in the game because he always has the option of fleeing overwhelming situations to fully heal himself. The best Bosk players will quite easily go through entire games without getting Bosk killed, and that is why he is such a popular choice on the Galactic Assault game mode. On final strength, Bosk's primary weapon is a perfect complement to his offensive abilities, as it gives Bosk the opportunity to deal lots of damage from long range. 
When the weapon is fully charged, it will one hit kill all troopers except heavies, and unlike Aiden's pulse cannon, you can continue aiming after the weapon is fully charged, making Bosk's Ralby far easier to use. Also, another advantage the Ralby has over Aiden's pulse cannon is it can be fired from the hip, and at any point in the charging process it can also be fired. Firing from the hip deals less damage of course, but the point is that it is not completely useless at this range, and Bosk's close range abilities easily make up for this anyway. Bosk does not have many weaknesses at all, to be honest, but I can think of a couple which might be a problem in some scenarios. First of all, even though he can regain all of his health, you must also remember that he does only have 600, and so in overwhelming situations, Bosk can be killed relatively quickly before he has chance to escape. Also, if you aren't using Dioxys to heal Bosk, it actually does take quite a while for his health to recharge fully, and if an enemy knows Bosk is trying to do this, remember he can be seen on the minimap, and so Bosk runs the risk of being tracked down or ambushed before he can regain any of his health. Tying in with the point I've just made, Bosk can also struggle against certain heroes. Yes, he has his proximity mines and his predator instincts to help him out against said heroes, but he is very vulnerable if a quick hero, especially like Ray or Luke, manages to catch him off guard. It will be difficult to flee in these situations, and remember 600 health is not exactly a lot when the likes of Ray are dealing over 100 damage per lightsaber strike. I have to say, these weaknesses are very minor, and in any case, the next part of the video should help you overcome them. To really dominate Galactic Assault as Bosk, you want to be really aggressive in order to make use of his abilities. The one condition this comes with is you need to make sure there is a reasonable opportunity for you to escape if things get messy. For example, when you see me playing as Bosk in today's video, you will see that on the final phase of Naboo, I always have the opportunity to retreat down the stairs where no enemy is likely to hit me. As another example, on Hoth, I always give myself the best possible chance of escaping by operating near the corridors and other covered areas, which are outside of my enemy's line of sight. Providing you do this, you can be as brave and as aggressive as you want with Bosk. My usual strategy is to start by getting as close to enemies as possible before throwing a Dioxys grenade at the most congested area. This is particularly effective at choke points. For example, if you can nail a Dioxys throw into either of the two containers on the second phase of Kashyyyk, you are sure to deal tons of damage and you'll likely grab a few kills too. This strategy will score you lots of points, but it is also really useful to your team because it either forces enemies to leave an area before they die, or if not, it will at least soften them up to such an extent that your team will find it much easier to kill enemies who may have been putting up a stubborn defence of certain checkpoints and objectives. Once I have used my Dioxys grenade, I usually try to follow this up straight away by getting as close to enemies again before throwing down Bosk's proximity mines. You don't just want to put these anywhere, if you want them to work, you need to put them where enemies will be most likely to go. And of course, if you can get them in amongst enemies or behind them, you will score lots of kills with these. You have to be really brave if you want this to work. You will see me in today's video literally run in front of massive groups of enemies before throwing down my mines and then fleeing. This may seem suicidal, but honestly I think it's worth the risk, and because boss can regen his own health, you can afford to take lots of damage. Even so, this is a high risk, high reward strategy, and you can get caught if you are just a little too brave, so you need to be the judge here. Once my Dioxys grenade and my proximity mines have been used, it is time to unleash more chaos by using Bosk's predator instincts. There is no real strategy to talk about with this, it's pretty simple, just shoot your grenades at the enemies in front of you. Don't stop firing even if you can't see enemies, or you think they are too far away because there is no limitation on how much you can fire when this ability is active. Remember, your enemies will also be being damaged by Bosk's Dioxys grenade and potentially by his proximity mines, so combining these abilities together, you'll honestly cause mass destruction on the battlefront, and you should score a ton of kills and assists. Once you have used all the abilities, it is then time to retreat, wait for your abilities to recharge, then do the same thing all over again. This will also give you some time to regenerate Bosk's health. 
Although Bosk is okay against heroes, I prefer not to hunt them down because of what I spoke about in the weaknesses part of this video. It is very easy to lose your Bosk if you start hunting down heroes. You should nevertheless take out a few naturally through the use of Bosk's abilities, but for me, Bosk's primary strength is against troopers. Just a final note, Bosk's rifle is certainly a viable option if you really like sniping. I do this sometimes if enemies are simply too far away, and I can't reach them, or I just fancy making use of this excellent rifle. So if this suits your playstyle, please feel free to do this. It's just, in my opinion, Bosk is at his best when he is close to the action. In my experience, this is how he scores more points, and ultimately gets more eliminations. That's going to be all for today's video guys, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to take a short break from Battlefront videos, I'm very excited for next week's video, which is going to be about what to do and what not to do when you're first starting out on Fortnite Battle Royale. I hope to see you there, and as usual, if you have enjoyed this video and the series so far, please leave me a like, and of course, subscribe.